some people are just anti-government here and they're in control of the county commission and, and they believe that uh, private business should run everything. Well, think about it this way. When the county ran the ambulance service, it didn't make money. The town took it over and it makes money. The extra money helps pay for the fire engines and stuff. And our firefighters are not just firefighters, they're EMTs and paramedics. So if you privatize the EMTs and paramedics and give away the profits that we're making, how are we going to pay for the fire engines and the equipment? And, and, and so their so. pay comes from the general fund, right? And a lot of uh, uh, bed tax fees and things like that. No, the general fund, is, uh, no, not the room tax. Whenever we do a budget, we, we decide you know, what we're going to create, what funds and who funds what. I mean, there's only so much money. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people like to think it's one big pot and you just pay for everything, you know, put trees in and do whatever they want you mm -hmm. to do. But the uh, law requires that certain funds collected for something have to be spent on something and so on. It's, it's a lot more intricate than people realize. And so if we lose these uh, firefighters, uh, the fire chief says that we'll still continue on, but it won't, uh, we won't have anybody trained and ready to go right now at this point. Well, we have two problems. One, we're going to have to make uh, considerations as to what's more important. Uh, our first priority, of course, is if someone's in a certain need, we're going to have to get them over to the hospital. But it's not going to be a priority to take someone to Vegas if they need to go to Vegas afterward. You know, we've got to get them to medical care first. Um, we're going to have a tough time replacing those people because people are going to want to know why do they all leave. Well, because you might only have a job for three months. So who would put in for that? I expect there will be an exodus of people thinking. I certainly would be thinking that. Well, nine people already got jobs over in Vegas. I better be looking for a job. Oh, by the way, a lot of our firefighters and EMTs and paramedics, most of them live in Vegas anyway. So they'll be thinking, you know, I'm, those jobs will be closing up. I better go apply. So there's going to be an exodus. And I know other town employees have been looking for work as well because, again, the county commission has failed to take action and, and let these people know what their future is. When, when they got that restraining order, that, that was a clear signal to me that their plans are very devious. If you're, if you're not going to uh, get rid of anybody and you're going to just keep business as usual other than they make the final decision as they've been claiming, then why would you be concerned about us wanting to keep employees employed that have been working there for years and doing an outstanding job. Nobody has any complaints about our town employees.